Ah, America, land of the free, a great nation who would never allow political polarization to undermine its democratic institutions. Uh, a house divided against itself cannot stand. I believe this government cannot endure permanently half slave and half free. Abraham Lincoln, June 16, 1858. A house divided. So it begins, let's get some diplomacy going, spread neoliberalism across the world. And, and taxes, taxes, yeah, we need to reduce taxes, reduce that sales tax. What about a 0.1%? Get some Andrew Yang in here. You know, transaction tackle. Oh, it, it begins, we're divided, we're divided people. We, we've got to unite it somehow. Oh, oh, too late, there we go. Mu Mu Missouri's out, Kentucky's neutral. I, I don't, oh, thought some the, the situation deteriorates. Well. Well, that seems a little bit... Oh, Texas joins the con Confederacy. They're doing the Texas... Oh, here comes Lincoln. You know what that means, boys. It's time to march northward with the Grand Army of the Confederacy to defend our liberties, to keep other people as our slaves. What do you mean, negative 4.6 million in production? I thought it all just trickles down. Well, shoot, never mind. Looks like we're finally getting some action. This step, secession, once taken, can never be recalled. <laughs> The demon of war. Come on, level that bombardment. Push them off their defenses, boys, and get the flank on. Come on, Hood. You know how to do it. Play hell just like in Tennessee. Oh, they'll never see us coming. We'll get in behind and oh actually come to think of it, they're 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 fighting us pretty well. I uh, think we may need some reinforcements here. That's it, Hill. Get in there. Take position behind the stone wall. Uh, oh dear. Well, looks like Johnville Hood ran away. Uh, come on, Stuart. Legend of the saddle. Come on. Um, well, looks like Stuart ran away too. Well, looks like it's all on D.H. Hill now. And it's all on the infantry. Well, let's get in there. God loves the infantry. That's why the sky is blue. Do it for Dixie, boys. Do it for Dixie. Reinforcing with Jones Brigade now. Come on, keep the pressure on them, boys. You know you can do it. Land those shots, artillery. Come on, Jones, get in there. Yule is ready. Closing to range, giving him the close volley fire. No, no, face the right direction, that's it. See, those blue bellies are backing off already. Good thing the English gave us those Enfield muskets to satisfy our army for our total lack of war industry when we started this conflict. Press on, press on, show those blue bellies what a man can do when he eats grits for breakfast and beans for lunch. There they go, headed back to Washington. Guess someone's got no choice but to do a recount now. There we go, beat them two to one, and it's still only a minor victory. Who the heck wrote this report of the battle? CNN, MSNBC, fake news, fake news, absolutely everywhere. Come on, Beauregard, put that engineering background to good use. Get that supply depot built. Don't want to get caught without boots like we did at Gettysburg. 
12 month contracts, eh? Well, guess what? I'm paying off Her Majesty's British Empire, and that'll get me all the guns I could possibly need. So, let's see how things are going in the Western Theatre. Oh, my word, Bragg, what on earth are you doing? This is why you're gonna lose your name off your fort. Ugh, just do something that isn't running away, come on! Well, at least we're winning on the East Coast, at least until that Drant guy beats his drinking problem. What's that? Huh? Yeah, you want some more? 